Hey everyone, it's Emily from Heart My Body Fitness. I'm so excited to be here today to do a no crunch bodyweight core workout with you. We're gonna do six moves and get a killer core workout. So why no crunches? Well, crunches just simply aren't one of my favorite exercises to include, and there's a few reasons for that. So I include them very sparingly. Crunches can put a lot of strain on the low back and neck, making them uncomfortable or even contraindicated in some people, so they shouldn't be doing that exercise. They only move in one plane of motion, forward and back, Backward, whereas our body moves in all three planes of motion, so forward, back, side to side, and rotation. And if you've heard you've got to do 100 crunches to get abs, it's simply not the case. There are so many different exercises and ways, especially diet, that you can show off those abs that we all have inside of us. And crunches simply don't burn that many calories. So for one of the exercises I would choose for a core workout, crunches are at the very bottom of the list most likely. So today we're gonna move in all three planes of motion. We're gonna get a full core workout. I think you're really gonna like it. If you do, please share this video out with your friends and of course subscribe to my channel. It really is the best way to let me know that you want more content like this. And I'm putting out new videos every Monday and so if you subscribe then you will never miss a Monday. Okay, with all of that said, find an open space. You can use a mat like I'm going to or carpet, whatever's gonna be comfortable for you and let's do this. For the first exercise, we're gonna come down onto our mat, actually on our back. You'll wanna have your back flat on the ground, your feet parallel hip width apart, and make sure that your feet are uh, totally flat on the ground, so no heels, no toes. All right, for the first exercise, we'll lift our hips up. From here, I want you to hold that glute squeeze super tight. You're gonna feel this in your hamstrings. You're gonna step one foot out to the side Bring it back in and lower it down and we'll switch. We're gonna do 10 on each side. So the challenge is that as you squeeze and lift, you're good here. When you step out, you're gonna wanna rotate your hips or even drop your hips down. Don't do it, fight that urge. You're really gonna feel this in your standing leg. I think this is three. Whew. Or this, the leg that's stationary. Glute squeeze, hamstring squeeze, pull your belly button down toward your spine. I think that this is five. I'm notoriously bad at uh, knowing what number I'm on, forgetting my counting, but we'll get through it. Whew. You also wanna make sure that when you are lifting up, you're only lifting to a point where you've got a straight line going from your knees to your shoulders so you're not excessively arching your back. You're really not arching your back at all, actually. It's just gonna be in a nice neutral position. Okay, we'll do two more on each side because I lost count, but I think that's right. You. It burns, okay, last one. Yeah. Squeeze it and release down. Next exercise, we will again be on our back. We're gonna take our hands and outline your glutes with them. So use them as a little bit of a shield so you can't arch your back on this one. I even like to just have them right down below my glutes. For this exercise, bring your knees up to 90 degrees and all we're gonna do is pull our abs down. Make sure that you've got a really strong, tight core here. We're gonna lower one leg down at a time. Lower it down and back up to 90 degrees. That's important. Down and up. Again, we'll do 10 on each side. I recommend tucking your chin. What you'll find you wanna start doing on this is bringing your knees all the way in. Don't do it. Lower down with control, don't arch that back. Pull it up and abs come down. Belly button toward your spine, good. I think this is five. <laughs> Ooh, I can feel my abs burning. This is six. Inhale down. Up, 
Now, if you can't go all the way down without feeling a little twinge in your low back, just go as low as you can. We'll do two more each side. Whew. And one more. And release. Huh. Okay, the next exercise is gonna bring us onto our hands and our knees. Make sure that your hands are shoulder width apart and line up right below the shoulders, so not out in front of you at all. And also make sure that your knees are hip width apart and that your knees line up right below your hips, not back here, not too far forward. So you should have a nice 90 degree bend at not only your hips, but also at, what are these, your knees. <laughs> okay, the next exercise is a bird dog. We're gonna do 10 on each side. Here's what I don't wanna see. Sometimes I like to start with the don'ts. Don't do that. <laughs> we do not wanna arch our back excessively. So what we want on this exercise is that your core stays nice and tight. There's not a lot of movement happening here, if any, because really your arms and legs are the only thing moving. Your core is gonna be totally stable for this one. So you're gonna extend one leg back behind you, as well as the opposite arm. And you'll notice that I don't go super high on this, it's just to parallel with the ground. Bring it in and take it back out, nice and controlled. That's two here. And exhale as you go out. Inhale as you bring it in. Four. You should feel your belly button pulling up toward your spine. Six, that's seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, seamlessly transitioning to the other side, keeping everything the exact same. Now we'll just do opposite arm and opposite leg of what we just were, and opposite arm, opposite leg right now. <laughs> through your glutes, pull your abs in. Again, this does not have to be a super big mo movement. It's just coming parallel to the ground and back in. And I've totally lost count, so we'll call this five. Whew. Six. That's seven. Eight. Nine and 10. Next exercise, we're going into a plank. So for this one, we'll be on our knees and our hands, or if you feel ready, you can go up to your feet. It's totally up to you. So I'll do a little bit of both. Here's how we're gonna time this out. You can either count super slow to 10, or you can add a little variation to this. But before we do, Let's get into the correct position. So make sure that you've got a straight line going from your head to your shoulders, through your torso, through your hips, all the way to your knees, or same thing, but all the way to your heels. So we're not here, we're not here, right? We're gonna really have to squeeze our glutes and our abs to maintain this plank position. From here, and you can actually have your toes tucked or untucked. I kinda like mine tucked, I don't know. That's just my preference. So from here, you can either hold or you can add a little something into it, like a lift. And you'll actually have to separate your hands a little bit wider, your knees a little bit wider if you're gonna do this part. Up and down, up and down, or even a tap across. So you can pick those varieties. One more that you can choose is if you're gonna lift out and down, out and down, and of course, Whatever works best for you guys, if you just wanna hold this here and count slowly or just hold while we're going, you can. I'm gonna do these guys, the shoulder taps. Two, two, you'll notice that your hips will wanna move. Don't let them, don't let yourself start to rotate. I think that's five, five, six, six, seven, Seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. 
For our fifth exercise, we will be again in a plank position, this time on our elbows with our hands elbow width apart as well. So make sure that you are in that exact same position from head to knee, nice straight line, or head to heel, depending on if you are doing this on your knees or your toes. Again, totally your call. What we're gonna do is hold this nice plank position, keep your gaze down at the ground, and simply rotate our hips just a little bit side to side. Now you'll really have to squeeze through your glutes on this, and I only want you to move to a point where you can feel the side of your glutes working, I'm sorry, the side of your abs working, your obliques. So you'll squeeze your glutes, pull your belly button up toward your spine, and we're rotating. And we'll call this one five. Six, six, seven. If you're on your toes, seven, you'll have a little bit more leeway to make a bigger move. Okay, final exercise. Come all the way down onto your mat, laying down. We're gonna be in a position for a Superman exercise. Feet parallel, hip width apart. You will place your hands either on your back, down by your hips, if that's comfortable for you. That's kind of more comfortable if you're just starting out. You can also take your hands up and make almost a goal post with them or take them behind your head. But whatever you do for that, extra, or for that uh, position, make sure that you have really a nice squeeze going through your shoulder blades so that you're engaging the muscles in your back. Or you can have your hands way out here, out straight in front of you, which is the hardest option. So pick your option. We're gonna lift up and do 15 reps of this. Then we're done. Well, you're not done. I want you to do this three times total. So you get the idea. Here we go. We'll do it together. Up and down. Exhale, inhale. Squeeze and down. You'll feel that your low back is starting to talk to you. Not in a bad way, just in like a, hey, I'm working way. You don't wanna lift super high on this. So no need to go like way up here, right? Just make it a few inches up and down. Six, I think, <laughs> seven, eight. Ooh, that is harder. Nine, 10, we're gonna do five more. Five, four, keep your gaze down at the ground. Three, two, and one. Whew. And round one is done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, whatever it is, please comment in the comment section below this video. And of course, you can share this video out with your friends. I so appreciate it. And subscribe to my channel so that you're never missing a video. I will see you next time and have a wonderful rest of your day.